Okay. Somewhere down here is my program, the Trek Windows version. I'm going to double click on it. Up comes that screen. Not happy with that size, I'd like it bigger. Properties. Let's make it 24. Although I could type a number into that. 24. That works okay. Plug in the USB lead. Makes the noise at the bottom, bit of information in the middle at the bottom. Press enter to continue. <clears throat> Turn on ignition now. Okay, if the screen is jumping around like that, just make the screen a little bit bigger or the text a little bit shorter. That's better. Let me move it over here a little. Right. So you can see me throttle moving around a little. Doesn't quite know. I'll just press my foot down and back off. Things look reasonable. Now, as I said before, you see the little R there. There's an R on throttle. Press that. It's no longer doing throttle and I can do that with any of the letters there that are, that are highlighted on the values. Lower down is the diagnostics to the right we've got the Uniram. There are four numbers there represent what the Uniram is. It just That's the errors, ECU errors and below are errors that can come on during use. Okay Let's see what happens. I'll make the screen a bit deeper, I think. There we go. Sorry about that. Missed it. It was like there. Right. So I've got the full screen now. What I'm going to do then is look for C for connection helper. Oh, I notice on the top screen it's... Uh, Telling me the version of your trap, me ECU ID, and what my car is. Set the screen up for that. And put a, say, a number two in for map two. Each time the pressure changes and there's an error, it's beeping. It might be a bad connection, or it might be my sensors in between things. Press the key to finish. I can scroll up and down then for quite a long time. So yeah, I've got it moving between 73 and 74 at the moment, which it's sampling enough times. How many times sampled? So it's not it's doing a few. And the decimal value is 73. And the map pressure it thinks is 980 or 994, moving between the two. I'm going to try Q for quit. Right, if I want to do uh, TPS angle, I can check my TPS. Two, one, I'm just going to slowly press my gas pedal. The white ones are errors. I'm now pressing slowly down 12 degrees, 16, 17. Any white ones that come up now, well, that wasn't very long. Any white ones that came up during that run, once it started to press, would have been errors in the tracking. So I can look back over them. This is before I was doing it. My TPS is moving between minus 0.3 and 0.1. It's only one decimal place on this. So I can quit that. I can... Uh, Run my fuel pump and my injectors, my HT for five seconds, my VAE for five seconds over boost valve. Might hear that, listen. Let's test it that so I can, I can press space to do it again. Alright, quit from it. If I want to see me max, 
M for max. Well, make the screen a bit bigger again. Max, then min, then live values. Max, min, live. See, as I've put my foot down more now. And that's uh, working. Uh, the pause is while I was thinking. When you're testing the TPS, it's not looking at it from the program. The max mins are when you're basically ignition on, ready to run the car or running the car. So that's max. That's the minimum throttle I've had again. It's same for everything else. Same for um, the maps, the coolants and everything. They just keep changing around. The green ones are live. And uh, if I want to do S, it's just saved the files. If I do L for logging, it's now logging. I can put a space to a spike and I can press my throttle, come back off and I can press L for logging again to stop it. What else can I say? Q to quit the program. Key to exit. I can look down for the log. ECU log. That's today's. Waiting for it to open up. Yep. There it is with the values. I can scroll down values. There's a one there on the uh, spike column so if I hit a problem I could go across to wherever get myself around that area you saw me put my foot down on the gas on the throttle after a few moments so if I scroll these results you'll see me putting my foot on the throttle well and that's uh, Trek Windows.